What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is 410 Autotech. As you can see, today I'm working on a 16 Dodge Hellcat. Changing front pads only. Uh, we're gonna get into the video. Uh, there's a couple things I wanna talk about. When a customer asks you just to do one certain thing, it is up to you to highly suggest your best knowledge on what you do. Customer only wanted front brake pads, so that's what we're gonna do today. So let's hop into the video. All right, step one. All right, put your jack underneath, secure. Take all your lug nuts off. All right, broken by, by hand already. Put them all to the side. All right, guys, so before I do any job, I always try to get as much info as I can before I do the job. Customer wanted uh, front brake pads to be replaced. As you can see, it is very, uh, very dusty. They have an issue with these Hellcats, I believe, that, you know, just amount a lot of brake dust due to uh, the brake pad material. Um, looks like it's a two-piece rotor. Uh, I had talked to a buddy, Rust Belt, and he suggested to replace these, but unfortunately, we don't have the parts to replace them, so we're just going to go with it and just replace the front brake pads and inform the customer. Always inform the customer if you're always going to change the brake pads. And if it's your own, I always recommend replacing, you know, pads, the rotors, and all the components if you're going to do your brake pads on your own and unable to machine these. These are slotted. Uh, there's a lot of people that say that they can't be slotted or they can. It's up to you. I always highly suggest not to try to uh, machine them and just to replace them. So first thing we're going to do is back here. It's a 13 millimeter. And we're going to pull this pin out. I've already broken it free. Next thing you want to do is uh, take a punch and punch this out. All right, we're going to leave it like that for now. Next thing we're going to do is uh, take these punches and remove these slide slides as well. Okay, they get flat. And switch it over. All right, so sorry for those in the background, but as soon as you remove uh, the one pin slides right out, this pops up. Your other uh, piece should come out fairly easy as well. It came out just like this. So I'm gonna try to install it and leave it on the ground on the side just like that so I can see. Next thing is to make some room and remove this. That comes out. Next thing is you want to do is you're going to want to depress the six pistons that are inside and there's a special tool that you can use. You can probably pick up from Advanced Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm going to try to just move them by my hand and see if it works out for me. Alright, so I'm going to show you a trick. If you don't have the tool, right tool for it, and you really want to get it done, but you got to be careful not to mess up the paint. And you can use one of these and try to cover the paint with something so you can squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it and you'll depress them. But I was able to depress them all the way in with my hand, so we should be good. After this, we're going to remove them. 
makes it nice and easy. There you go. As you can see, it is pretty uh, depressed inside, which is exactly what you want. If you want to double check, use your fingers, try to press them in as much as you can, and be careful. All right, so you're also going to want to get in here and clean this up a little bit. As you can see, these pads are uh, this highly discolored, and these are the brand new pads we're gonna install. Try not to touch them like I just did. So we're gonna replace these. Uh, they had some good padding left, but they were just making some excessive noises. Uh, you can see all the build up right here. So customer wanted them done. Getting a little low right there. But uh, we're gonna get to put these back together. All right. There you go, well, it's nice and clean. So if you wanted the trick, uh, probably cleaned up a little bit more, but we're gonna install these pads now. All right, so now we're ready. Slide it right in. Might have to play with the rotor a little bit. Slide the other one in. All right. All right, they are both in now. So now, try to remember where your uh, the orientation was, right right about here. Now some new hardware that we're gonna install as well. So, might have to come out a little bit. So now that you have your both your slides and you're just gonna give them a little tap. So now I'm gonna have install this piece and I'm gonna clean it up real quick. Alright guys, so pretty much you wanna finish it up by reinstalling this piece right here. All right, so you might have to uh, put a little, you might have to put a little bit of a, a love tap on there. And then the next thing you want to, you're gonna want to do is just put a little bit of Loctite so that it doesn't back out. Well, there you guys have it. There is how you change front brake pads on a 2016 Dodge Hellcat. Just front pads only. Uh, like I said, wanted to replace the rotors and these uh, pins right here, as my buddy told me to replace them as well. He is a Dodge um, Master Tech. And for me about these, that is always nice to have a friend at a dealer that you don't work at. And he can help you out on those nice tips and tricks. So he gave me those tips and tricks. And I'm going to give them back to you. Try to replace your rotor and your hardware as well on the rotor and brake pads clean them up with nice soapy water try not to do brake clean because it'll damage the paint flat lube them up a little bit and there you go nice thick brake pads well there you guys have it. that's how you place you replace your uh brake pads on a 2016 dodge hellcat this thing is monstrous fast i'm gonna do the other side uh, it's getting dark so i can't really show you that side but after that we'll take a ride and this this is a beast it is a beast 
But thank you for guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Formano, Autotech. Peace out.